The most common problem that you find on guitar rigs is a ground loop, and you're actually hearing one now. Uh, it usually is created when you connect to two different amplifiers, but you can also create a ground loop by using your effects loop and getting the signal back to the pedals and also using some DI boxes or so anything like that. In DI boxes there's a ground lift button but if you would have a pedal board and then connect it to two or even more amplifiers you don't have a ground lift on your pedals or your amplifiers. Please note that this test is made totally with all the tone and every volume control off so there's no signal from my guitar now and uh, I have I have connected to two amps which I'm gonna demonstrate so amp number one is the one that's whistling now it's over here I have the tone off so that's why it's so muffled and uh, if you could take the cable out here we have another one so what we're gonna do now is we have splitted the signal this funny looking cable it's not here for demonstrational purposes we just had it and we we kind of like it it's a professional cable and we used two other professional cables to connect to the amplifier so this isn't uh, connected to any power supply. If we would have a power supply it would generate possibly even more d disturbing noise. But what we can do now is place this box. I said to one other video that this little LA is most used Lely box but to be honest this is the most used and most easiest to use box. First of all it's a totally passive you don't need battery or power supply. It has one input, it has two outputs, one is direct and one is isolated. There's a really high quality isolation transformer here inside which disconnects the ground of the other amplifier's ground and it happens with this button. So as a default the ground is lifted when this button is on the up position this is a phase if we want to change the phase when you play with two amplifiers but that's a whole another different subject not going to cover it here but what we're going to do is we're going to take out the ground loop and uh, we're going to start by shutting our amplifiers while we disconnect everything so i am now putting my guitar here and uh, connecting other to ISO, other to direct. And then we can listen what happened. Now we have the same noise than we did have before. Now we have the both amplifiers on. And now it's off. The whistle and the thing. What we're going to do now, because these amplifiers are connected in the different parts of this room and you would have the same issue in venue, we're going to do this vice versa, which really doesn't affect the sound, but it changes the ground in this room. So we will disconnect the amp once more. Maybe just take a cable out. <coughs> so now these are other way around and we listen. Other one is connected. So I think we are even more happy with this result here. So now this was the original boss connection. It, it doesn't say any bad about this boss, but it's a great tuner, but I definitely wouldn't use it to, you know, connect to two amplifiers, although I have saw that some people do it. But still, everything is now closed. So there's no any extra noise coming from the room or from the venue. And this is all, all quiet. And, uh, this is the one with the ground loop. So this is kind of a lifesaver for anybody who is traveling and touring professionally. So highly, highly recommended.